Right, so far we've been solving quadratic equations and the three methods that we've done so far are graphing and we've also used factoring and we've also used square roots and hopefully we found some appropriate times to use those and not use those. What we're going to be exploring today is the quadratic formula. At the end of this lesson you'll be able to solve a quadratic equation by the quadratic formula. Alright, the best thing about the quadratic formula, and I'm just going to write this in my blank, the quadratic formula, and obviously it's called that because it's used on quadratic equations, is used to solve any quadratic equation. So if we don't think it looks like a problem that you can factor or graph. When you graph it, it doesn't hit at nice places. You can always use the quadratic formula. This is always our backup. Every single problem, no matter what, can be used using the quadratic formula. Right? The solutions of the quadratic formula, notice the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c, which hopefully we're a little bit used to. Um, actually, to do this, to actually get this equation where it came from, was um, completing the square. So if we completed the square and then actually solved the, the completing the square process by x, we would get something that looks like this. x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right. I'm guessing this formula looks really super hard and you're probably thinking why would she say oh quadratic formula this is going to be a great one especially if you're not good at factoring or graphing or whatever. Um, I promise it will be. If you memorize this formula you are going to be all set. So before we actually work any problems, I need us just to get used to the formula so you don't have to look it up every time um, and you won't get problems wrong because you have the wrong formula. So I'm going to teach you a song and when I do see you in class I will expect you to sing it with me. Um, hopefully you can sing along with me as I'm actually doing the problems because um, you'll notice we'll probably call my kids, my older kids, while we're in class and you'll hear them sing it because they still know it. So here we go. Here is the song. It goes to Pop Goes the Weasel. It is x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right? I'm going to sing that through one more time. If you caught on to the chorus at all, go ahead and join in. You might look a little funny watching notes and um, singing with me, but go ahead and do it. All right, x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so now that we know the formula, what we are going to actually do is do some examples solving using the quadratic formula. So if I have x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. Okay, you might be thinking on this one, well, I really would just prefer to solve this by factoring. I want to show you, we'll go back and solve it by factoring if you'd like to, but I do want to show you how the quadratic formula would work. All right, I'm just going to write um, one thing up here. If you remember from the quadratic formula, we had ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Notice the number in front of the x squared is the a, the number in front of the x is the b, and then the number all by itself is the c. You have to have your quadratic um, equation in standard form in order to use this formula. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to list my a, my b, and my c. So my a is what's in front of the x squared, which would be a 1. My b is what's in front of my x, which would be a 9. And my c is what's in front of the, or just all by itself, which would be 18. One thing that I didn't check is I do want to make sure that the equation equals 0, just like with factoring or with graphing, and it does. So we were all set with that. Okay, so now once we do this, um, I'm just going to start singing the song and we'll fill things in. So we're going to get x equals opposite b. The opposite of b is negative 9 plus or minus square root, okay, b squared, so b squared, 9 squared is 81, minus 4ac, and so it's going to be 4 times 1, because a is 1, and c is 18, all over 2a, and 2 times a would be 2 times 1, which is 2. So notice I try to, as I'm going through, do as much work as I can on the problem. All right, from here, we're actually just going to work this out. Um, we're going to make it a little bit simpler, and then we'll just come up to a decimal as our answer if we can. So I'm going to get x equals. Right, the first part we're going to do is this part right here. And we're going to let our calculator do the work on this for us. And I'm going to show you, I'm guessing that you don't have a calculator handy right with you where you're sitting. So I'm going to show you on the um, calculator how you would actually plug that in to get an answer. Alrighty, so if you're looking at my calculator, calculator right now, what we are going to do, the part that I circled was the square root, so I'm going to do second 
square root, and then I just tell it what I would like it to square root. We want it to square root 81 minus, and I'm just typing in exactly what I wrote down, 4 times 1 times 18. And then you can close your parenthesis here, or you don't close your parenthesis, it doesn't really matter. And then just press enter. Notice I got 3. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to, so this, this whole thing equaled 3. So now I have the negative 9 still. I still have the plus or minus. This whole thing <clears throat> was 3, and then it's still all over 2. So now what we're going to do, notice if I have a plus and a minus, that means I have two different answers. So I actually get to do both of them. The first thing that I'm going to do is negative 9 plus 3 divided by 2, and then I'll do negative 9 minus 3 and divide it by 2. And I'm going to do this in my head. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, and negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And then negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So notice I got x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 6. Those are my two answers. If I were to graph it, that's where I would see this parabola touch the x-axis. And you'll notice since I got nice whole numbers, I could have easily factored this one. So if we're on a quiz or whatever, and you would prefer to do this one by factoring, you would be all set. Alrighty, let's try another one here. We've got 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Alright, it is a quadratic equation. It is equal to 0, so I'm all set with that. And then again, I'm the first thing that I'm going to do is identify my a my B and my C, and this would be one that would possibly be factored, but this was one, um, I know some people were having some confusion when we'd end up with something that had like 2x in parentheses, and then we'd have to set it equal to zero when we factored in, it was kind of pain. So quadratic formula solves that issue. So my A is gonna be two, my B is gonna be what's in front of the X, which is negative three, and my C is gonna be what's by itself, which is going to be negative four, not just four, but the negative goes with it. All right, so here we go, song, here we come. So x equals opposite b, the opposite of negative 3 is 3, plus or minus square root b squared, so negative 3 squared, remember negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, minus 4ac, so 4ac is 4 times a times c, all over 2a, whoops, and 2a is 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so the more work that we can do in our head as we go, the easier it's going to be. All right, the next thing that I want to do again, we're going to find this answer right here, and I won't make you watch me type it in this time. Um, if you were to type this in your calculator, you end up getting 6.40. Okay, so that's what we're going to get. So now I have 3 plus or minus 6.40 divided by 4. All right, so um, first thing that we're going to do, we're going to do 3 plus 6.40 divided by 4, and we'll do 3 minus 6.40 divided by 4. Okay, 3 plus 6.40 is 9.4, and if I divide it by 4, I'm going to get 2.35. Okay, if we do 3 minus 6.40, that's going to be negative 3.4, and if I divide that by 4, I will get negative 0.85. Okay, so those are my two x values. And notice they didn't turn out nicely, so I actually would not even have been able to graph this nicely, and I would have not been able to factor it. So really, quadratic formula was the way to go. The biggest thing on these ones, you should find this to be a pretty easy process. Um, just be careful when you're using your calculator, and if you can get the setup, you should be okay. All right, this next one, I would really like you to pause my video and try it by yourself, especially if you don't have a calculator handy. Please just get the setup, and then I can come back and be the calculator for you. All right, and I would strongly suggest against using your cell phone calculators for this because um, the parentheses become an issue when you go to use the square root, so I definitely just stay away from those. Okay, so my problem is going to be x squared minus 7x plus 11 equals 0. All right, so on this one, what we are going to do, my does say equal zero. You should be paused right now and then come back and see me. All right, hopefully you're back now. My A is going to be one, my B is going to be negative seven, my C is going to be 11. All right, so we are going to have X equals opposite B, the opposite of negative seven is seven, plus or minus square root B squared, negative seven squared is 49, minus 4ac, and a is 1, and c is 11, all over 2a, and 2 times 1 is 2. Alrighty, so now from here we're going to figure out the square root. We'll again type this whole part in our calculator, 
And when we do that, 2.24. So this is going to be 7 plus or minus 2.24. That's what that equaled. All over 2. So we're going to do 7 plus 2.24 divided by 2 and 7 minus 2.24 divided by 2. Okay, so if you do 7 plus 2.24, you're going to press equals and then divide it by 2. You will get um, 4.62. All right, and then if you do 7 minus 2.24, press equals and then divide by 2, you will get 2 point, I think it's 3.8, but I'm not exactly positive, but I think that's what it is. Okay, and notice we did get decimals again, which means this, if we would have tried to use factoring on this, we would have not been able to factor it. So those are the two places that this um, quadratic function would hit the x-axis. All right, let's try one more. Number four, negative 3x squared plus 4x is equal to 10. All right, we'll do this one together. Notice on this one, I usually put a check because it equals zero. This one does not equal zero, so we do have to make it equal zero, so I'm going to subtract 10. Make sure you put these in order. So it's gonna go negative three x squared plus four x minus 10 is equal to zero. All right, so now from here, we're ready to go. We're gonna get a equals negative three, b equals four, and c is equal to negative 10. So here we go with the formula x equals opposite b, the opposite of 4 is negative 4, plus or minus square root b squared, 4 squared is 16, minus 4ac, a is negative 3, c is negative 10, all over 2a, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and this line should extend all the way across, sorry about that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is use our calculator to actually find that square root. So if you type this in exactly like what it looks, you end up getting, your calculator is going to say error, which means we actually got a negative under the square root when we did that, which means you cannot get an answer. So since I can't get an answer, I get to stop and it's going to be no solution. And if you are, were thinking, if we were to graph this, um, this would actually be a parabola. I'm going to guess it looks something like this. And notice it doesn't hit the x-axis. That's why there is no solution. So um, we do have one more um, story problem. I'm going to wait and do that in class with you. So I just wanted to make sure that you had the general idea of solving quadratic equations. So hopefully now um, you can use uh, the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. And hopefully you know the song so that you can memorize that quadratic formula.